Bienvenidos a Zona Kite, el primer programa de TV dedicado al universo del kitesurf. En Kite en primera persona, Valentín Rodríguez nos cuenta su experiencia tras haber ganado su primer título de la GKA. En Viajando con el Viento, vamos desde los Alpes franceses hasta llegar a las cumbres italianas. En InfoKite, te mostramos el proceso de fabricación de las tablas de Duotón. En Kite School, aprendemos cómo hacer un pop enganchado con la Duotón Kiteboarding Academy. En el clip del día, te mostramos los videos más interesantes del mundo del kitesurf. Llegó la hora de entrar en la zona. La zona donde volar es posible. Esto es Zona Kite. En un mundo pre-COVID-19, Valentín Rodríguez ganó su primer título de freestyle del GKA Kite World Tour durante la última parada en Brasil. El rider colombiano sorprendió ganando la corona al mejor kitesurfista de estilo libre del mundo en su primera participación. Escuchemos lo que Val piensa sobre lo que significa ganar y su intención de mantenerse en la cima del juego. Ok, so my name is Valentin Rodriguez, I'm from Colombia, 17 years old, and yeah, I just won my 2019 first world title. It's a really addictive feeling, you know. This year I won it back, and yeah, it's the best feeling in the world. Like honestly, it's been my dream since I'm 10 years old, and yeah, super stoked to get that. Honestly, I feel a lot of pressure now because everybody wanna take that first place, and yeah, everyone's training super hard. Liam is super hungry for it. Adeuri, Maxim, Coco, all the riders are honestly super hungry for this title, and me too. I want this feeling again to be on the top. And yeah, I'll fight as hard as I can for it and make the, the best out of it. We were in Vienna with Mika and Tommy and yeah, we were doing some testing, like some physical testing, running tests, heart rate, blood tests, a lot of different tests and yeah, I think it really helps and make an athlete better. You, you need to know like where your weak point. As they say, like being first is really hard, but maintain that first place is the hardest. So everyone's gonna try to beat me and be first. So. Yeah, I'll just do my best on the water and off the water, like, I'll send it and, yeah, hope to do my best. <laughs> well, yeah, now it's, like, pretty chilled. I'm in Cape Town doing some bigger. haven't trained freestyle for a few months, like, hard freestyle. But, yeah, I'll go to Dominican Republic in a few weeks, and that's a, a spot I really like to train. It's really similar to Brazil, flat water, good wind. And, yeah, it's one spot I really progress a lot and I feel really good, really confident on it. And, yeah, I'll be there, like, for a few months training before the first stop in Leucat. And, yeah, I think it will help a lot for start the year properly. Well, Cape Town is amazing. It's been my dream to be here. Like, a long time ago, I've been watching Aaron Hadlow's videos, everything with Ruben Lenten here, and it's been amazing. It's just a sick spot. Just look at that view. And yeah, the wind is just crazy. Just that I had my first proper session, like like more than 40 knots. Well, for me, it's really important just to know how to ride in different conditions, choppy, gusty wind. And yeah, like me personally, I like to train in flat water and like, perfect conditions. But when it's time to go to the choppy and the hard conditions, I'm able to just do the tricks. And yeah, I think it's really important to practice in both but mostly in good conditions for me because like in choppy you can injure easy and yeah but it's just to have the tricks that in choppy too it's really important i've been testing some gear some 2021 vegas with me kylie soul and yeah it's, it's been amazing i really like the new material really feels super light and has a lot of slack a lot of pop and yeah just i think now this year is really important 
like it just makes a difference. Before I was riding 138 team series and yeah I changed it in Brazil before the competition to 140 the Hadlow and yeah I've been liking it a lot it's a bit bigger at the beginning I was like oh it's weird but yeah now I'm used to it and I love it I love this board I like the landings really solid a lot of pop and yeah it's the perfect board for me. Okay. <laughs> Prepárense para vivir una increíble aventura de snow kite y seguir al equipo francés de Fly Surfer mientras intentan cumplir el objetivo de alcanzar la cima del Dormiluz en los Alpes franceses e italianos. Hola, Sylvain. Estoy en train de regarder la météo y veo que hay un beau petit créneau de 3 jours. Ah bah carrément, moi je suis chaud, attends, bah je vais regarder la météo. Bah ça a l'air pas mal, tu vois, nord-ouest pour monter le premier jour, et après, euh, deuxième jour, du ah nord, ouais, qualité là-haut, ouais. Plus nord le, le jour d'après, ouais. Euh, moi je prends une petite soupe au pistou. Je prends de la small, du fronton et, et sauciflard. Euh, un petit rhum. Je vais prendre... Ouais, du rhum. Si t'es chaud, il y a plein de petits couloirs, ou si jamais on n'a pas de vent. Je peux prendre piolet et crampon. Bon bah, je sais pas, 8h30 chez moi, et après on est parti Yes, tout de bon, ciao ciao. Toi, comme toi, c'est partir et que le vent te pousse au sommet, quoi. Mmh. Et s'il si te pose pas au sommet même et qu'il te pose juste en dessous et que tu ranges par sécurité un peu avant et que tu marches, ça me choque pas du tout. Ouais. Quoi. Ouais Sylvain, je suis content de t'entendre, je suis juste à la corniche, là dans 3 mètres je suis sorti. Yes, pas de problème, tranquille mon ami. Trop facile. Là, 
la prend par à droite. Non, ce qui est top, c'est cette cinquième ligne. Tac, tu tires, là, elle se pose, elle ne tire plus. Ça fait une petite, petite sécu. Bah, en plus du deep power, on a ça, quoi. Tu fermes la lumière, hein. C'est la prochaine à droite. A lo largo de este tiempo, Tutón Kiteboarding ha puesto mucho esfuerzo en desarrollar las mejores tablas del mercado. En esta ocasión, sigamos a Tom Kurt mientras nos lleva a conocer los secretos detrás de su producción y nos explica paso a paso cómo se hace cada tabla. Right, so we've driven down into the Austrian countryside to visit the Capita Mothership Factory. This is where we produce all our duotone twin tip kite boards. We're going to go through the whole production line and see what goes into making some of the best kite boards on the water. This is where the whole process begins. The warehouse where all the wood blanks are stored. This forms the basis for all of our boards at duotone kiteboarding. Once the wood blank has been carefully chosen, it is then moved to the milling department so that it can be shaped individually for each board model. and the bottom sheets of the boards have the graphics printed onto them using two different processes, digital and screen printing. The characteristics of each board model from the Select Extreme all the way to the Gambler are created by the different composite materials that are laid onto the wooden core. This governs everything from flex pattern and weight to strength during the lamination process. 
Once all the different materials have been prepared, the lamination process begins. We use a non-toxic resin hardener to combine the material recipe that makes our boards the lightest on the market. Once the layup is complete, the decks are placed onto the moulds and then inserted into the hydraulic presses that are heated by power from the nearby River Gaia. After the press has done its work and the resin is cured, the boards are taken to the cutting table. This laser cutter trims the outlines perfectly, exposing the track inserts on the decks and the ABS rails that make our boards so durable. The outline of the boards are then finished carefully by hand. Throughout the process, the quality of each board is checked to ensure each stage is exact. One of the most important processes is the routine testing that our boards go through to ensure strength, quality and consistency in construction. This is how we guarantee each and every board lives up to the Duotone name. The finishing department is our final quality control method, cleaning the decks, stamping the serial numbers on all of the boards and attaching the warranty stickers. Each board produced at the Capita factory also has this sticker. The final stage before distribution is the packing. Reduce plastic usage, tip tail and rail protection. Make sure that each board is perfect before it comes to your door. El pop es un ejercicio fundamental y es la base para casi cualquier movimiento en el kitesurf. Dominarlo correctamente será la clave para desbloquear varios trucos en este camino. Encontrar una posición de navegación balanceada y navegar con el kite estable en un ángulo de 45 grados. Pone tus manos cerca en el centro de la barra. Para hacer el pop, volá el kite solo un poquito más alto. Orsá la tabla fuerte contra el viento. Esto generará tensión en las líneas. Dirigiendo la fuerza hacia abajo, sobre el borde de talones, mantén la barra en su posición inicial, ya que quieres hacer el pop sin que el kite te esté sacando del agua. Ahora haz el pop fuera del agua, pisando sobre tu pie trasero y elevando tu pie delantero. En este momento, la tabla debería ir a una posición casi vertical, por lo que la cola de la tabla debería ser lo último que salga del agua. Libera el borde de la tabla y salta con la intención de ir hacia el viento. Mantener tu cuerpo en tensión durante todo el salto hará que el aterrizaje sea mucho más fácil. Aterriza en dirección levemente downwind y con el kite estable en su posición. Absorbe el impacto flexionando tus rodillas. Dependiendo de cuánta fuerza y tensión corporal pongas en el borde de la tabla, determinará cuán potente será tu pop. Repitamos los elementos clave. Vola tu kite en un ángulo de 45 grados. De a poco, mueve tu kite hacia arriba y orza upwind para generar una mayor tensión en las líneas. Solta el borde de la tabla y haz el pop. Mantén tu cuerpo tenso mientras estés en el aire. Disfruta de tu aventura con Duotón Kiteboarding Academy.
En el clip del día, te mostramos los videos que más nos llaman la atención del mundo del kitesurf. Este es un video hecho por Tom Kurt mientras sigue a su padre, un hombre que decidió cambiar su vida para dedicarle más tiempo al kitesurf y quien es una verdadera inspiración para Tom. Kiteboarding is different for everybody. Not everyone has the luxury of escape to warm water and dreamy destinations. Some of us have to take the hard road. Weeks without wind and dreary days can leave you feeling deprived. Until that forecast hits, you forget about everyone else. Time stands still. Those cold mornings, that hot tea, the subtle glimpses of the magic on the horizon. Driving the same road and parking in the same old spot. It's the simple things that keep the grin on your face. People passing may call you crazy, that's what they think. But you know that you have six millimeters of rubber to keep you warm and you're not phased. Because some of us thrive on this, the struggle, the imperfect, the feeling of going into battle, because sometimes that's what makes it more worthwhile. It's a blessing, not a curse. It's for this moment in time, at this place on earth, you enter the water. No matter what else is going on, you are present. You are right there. You are truly committed. Here's to you, the kiter that will brave the harshest conditions and love it more than anyone else. The warriors, the last ones standing. Stay committed and it'll be worth it. But you already know that. Zona Kite es tu zona. Vos también sos protagonista de nuestro programa. Mandanos tus fotos y videos a zonakitetv.com para compartirlas en nuestras redes sociales. Esto es todo por hoy. Los esperamos en la próxima edición de Zona Kite.